What is going on, Alex the Virgo? You know what I'm saying? This is my first ever shroom trip. Now, originally, I was supposed to start my shroom trip outside, but it's raining, so I guess Mother Nature wants me to do it inside. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do it with numerology. I'm, I'm trying to do 1.5 at 12 p.m. because I it equals nine. I'll explain that one day, or maybe not. But let me show you my setup real quick. You know what I'm saying? I got my intention, got my crystals, I got some snacks. And I got some some something to draw if I want to be art, artsy. You feel me? Anyways, look, it's twelve o'clock. Hope y'all can see that. So I need to take them now. Let's get it. First ever trip. Also, they smell a little weird. <sighs> the pickles for sure helped. What? Mm-hmm. Okay, I swallowed them. I can't really taste anything because I put them in pickle juice because, you know, I heard... They, I know they always get bad raps for tasting like poop. So I just swallowed them. That was about 1.5 grams. Now I'm about to sit down, um, meditate for a little bit, and really just um get ready for this trip. I'm going to see y'all later, and I'm going to check in later with y'all. We'll see how it's going. Okay, y'all. So I recently just took them like 10 minutes ago. I recently just been... Hitting this ball right here, it plays great frequencies and stuff like that. Um, also, I have my intentions right here with some crystals. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm, I really wanna, I'm really trying to manifest the key to fully understanding and applying this YouTube knowledge right here. And also, I'm trying to get a better understanding of myself. You get what I'm saying? And I'm trying to just be more grounded you know what i'm saying and connect with my ancestors as well so that's what my intention is i know they said for your for your trip you have to come with an intention so that's my intention and the reason why i'm trying to do this trip so that's what i'm asking this room to take me on and yeah um i don't think i'm really feeling it yet it's been like 10 11 minutes roughly so i know they say it takes like 30 so i'm gonna give it another 19 20 and i'll check back in with y'all okay so boom quick update it's been like 30, 20 minutes since I last talked to y'all. I'm not gonna say it didn't hit me, but it didn't like hit me, hit me. Like I'm still chilling. I feel like I'm all the way here, but I would say I have a certain level of, <laughs> I don't know why I just laughed at Oh shit. Okay, hold up. <laughs> I just, okay. Yo boys, when I put on the camera just now, I just got some, I got a couple of visuals. My shadow looks insane on the wall right now, but um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, y'all boys, but um, right now it's one o'clock. I'm just watching this video by uh, like Young Don the Sauce Guy. He's this animator YouTuber, and I guess he made a video like three, four, five years ago talking about how Tinder made him famous because this girl he liked, um, dumped him, like dropped him like a sack of potatoes, and he worked out, took YouTube seriously for three months, and that in that three months that he took it really, really, really serious. He blew up on YouTube. So I, I I used to always watch this video almost every night before I go to sleep to give me inspiration and like hope and something to like guide me a little bit. So I'm watching it now on shrooms to see if like, you know what I'm saying? They'll, I'll look at it any differently. And I like, this shit is funny, bro. This shit is funny. And like the visuals, I don't know. Oh shit, damn, damn. I'm like doorknob right there. Like I can see in the doorknob. You get what I'm saying? Like I can see a whole world reflection in the doorknob. I don't know if this camera is good enough for all that, but yeah, that's how the, uh, not, 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 no crazy visuals or not like that yet. We just chilling. Anyways, though, I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. Okay, so look, y'all. Oh, shit, I almost dropped my phone. Okay, so look, I just started getting visuals. My, like, uh, <laughs> my, <laughs> my, my uh, door is, like, breathing and <laughs> going up and down i don't know it's like going up and down but um y'all boys i recently just had some uh, a little bit of tears because um uh i was just blessed upon with the information that you know what i'm saying sometimes you know what i'm saying in this life people just ain't gonna love you people just ain't gonna like you people just gonna hate you people just genuinely just not gonna care about you as a being and that shit is okay. Like, I guess the biggest thing for me, I haven't realized that was like my dad. You know what I'm saying? Um, me and my dad, we have a weird relationship. And that nigga, he never really fully been in my life and like been like a father figure. 
to me, not really even a figure in my life. Because, like, even when he was there, he wasn't there. You get what I'm saying? And um, I guess I've always wondered in my head, like, how can somebody who makes another human being, like, how could you not give a fuck about your creation? Like, that is beyond me. But, um... I feel like I'm coming to terms with it as I get older and older. Like, <clears throat> I'm not gonna cry out, boys, chill. But it's like the older I get, the more I realize it's okay. Like, it's okay if like some people don't like me just because they don't like me. It's so like even my prom day yesterday who did me dirty. It's okay if she didn't. Looking back, I feel like maybe she was just using me maybe to like because you know her dad probably don't like black people, Mexicans. I guess sometimes don't like black people for whatever reasons. And I guess maybe maybe she was just trying to use him to get mad at me. Because, you know, at the beginning of the day, she was even saying her dad probably was would have been pissed. So maybe she was just using me to get back at him. Who knows? I don't know. Um, But, you know, like back to my dad, I, I'm starting to come with terms more in life for like shit being just okay. Things not always working out the way I wanted them to go. Um, people not always being how I want them to be, even myself not meeting the expectations that I want myself to meet sometimes, like, that shit is completely okay, because I feel like life, the worst thing you can do at life is put expectations, you know what I'm saying, like, expect something from somebody, expect life to show you this, expect life to bring you this, when we really all should just, I think, be experiencing it for exactly what it is and that's just an experience the experience within itself is what matters not what's taken from the experience just the fact that we're here is enough the fact we are born incarnated here you know you know what i'm saying so yeah i just want to share some of my, my thoughts with y'all you know what i'm saying before i um play around with this new state of consciousness mindset i haven't experienced yet and um i'm gonna see you on a little bit um, what's up, y'all? It's been like 20 minutes, you know. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, man. I just been sitting here, like, crying. Like, whether it was from, like, um, yesterday's situation to, like, you know what I'm saying? S somebody said something that hurt me and something I said that maybe hurt somebody. Years ago, I just been, like, trying to release all this shit. Because, you know, when you cry, you release like energy you release that negative shit from your like everything was put on you for a reason i believe and like we supposed to cry for a reason like shit but i don't i don't cry like that because nigga i don't like i guess i'm not comfortable enough for myself sometimes to really just be honest with myself and just let myself cry i'm always trying to stay strong but um nigga i'm crying because like there's a lot of situations in my lifetime where I could respond with complete hate. I could just crash out. I could just, I could respond with low negativity because that's what I, I'm given. Like, I don't want to say like a lot of the times, but nigga, people like, people be doing me so dirty sometimes, but I just respond with love because like, I know what I can do if I, respond with hey i'm su such a mental person like i i'm very calculated with everything like i could be the perfect psychopath you get what i'm saying i could because it can work both ways i could be the perfect psychopath and manipulate everybody for my own personal gain perfectly i could cheat all on women i could like i could do so much negativity but i I, I make the choice consciously to love to say no, Alex. Don't do like nah, Alex. I try like I. It's so in, in like a low vibrational world like this. It's it's so hard to be like loving. It's so hard to be positive sometimes. It's so hard to like look at straight negativity, hear straight negativity, and still go not nah, my future gonna be like positive. You know what I'm saying? So I just I guess I kind of felt like a wave of like love wash over my body the ancestors telling me it's like it's okay champ we got you I'm like you're doing the right thing keep going type shit but yeah i just wanted to uh 
share with how it's going so far. I'm gonna check back in with y'all in a little bit. Outside with it, y'all boys, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to show y'all some of this nature I'm looking at. Um, Specifically, like this right here. I say this is the best view about. Like, all this right here is God. Do you hear what I'm saying? And that's it. Like, all of this is God. That's God right there, boy. He created that. Or she, he, she, the universe, it created everything. Like, the majestic creatures out here, the light and shit, like, God created all this, man. That's crazy. Like, it's all very beautiful. You know, it's very, very beautiful. To say the least. Anyways, I'm probably about to go back inside and keep vibing to some music. And I'm going to see y'all in a little bit. Okay, so quick update, y'all. My friend Carlos, he's showing me on video. He sent me a video, like a video vlog of him, him on shrooms. Like him, him showing me his nature stuff right now. So he said a tree said hello to him. So I want to go see if I can talk to trees as well. You feel me? Yeah, I'm back. You know what I'm saying? Inside. I just had a breakthrough. Um, I realized something about like life. Like, I realized a lot of the times in my life, I've been like a dickhead. Um, specifically to like women more than anything, to my mom, to past relationships, girls. And I've been very disrespectful sometimes. I've been very standoffish. I've been very, I just been being not good a lot of the times been very emotionally distant. I haven't been as open and vulnerable to certain women that I should have been because I was scared of getting hurt. Like, um, I think a big reason was it that was being like my dad, bro. Like when you don't have a dad in your life, you feel like as a kid, there's something wrong with you. Cause just like you, you thinking what did, what could I have done to make my man stay or make him leave? You get what I'm saying? You always think 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 that in your head, but the reality is it's really not your fault. So it's like I would go into a lot of relationships just like how my dad did me. Like I can never fully commit to it because like whether because really it all stems from me not being comfortable enough with myself to fully express myself, even at the risk of maybe somebody somebody taking me, being vulnerable and hurting me. But that's the risk you take with life. No risk, no rewards, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like I need to be more open with, certain, with the people that deserve it. I need to be more vulnerable, be more myself, not only for me, but for them, because life is the best when it's genuine and shit, you know? So, um, yeah. To, if any woman, you know what I'm saying, that I've done wrong, that girl like the prom yesterday, I didn't do you wrong though, nigga. You did me wrong, bruh. You know what I'm saying? But like, I, <laughs> I'm gonna look back and forth. I'm gonna look back in like six months and it's not, it's really not even that big deal now to me. I don't know why. I, I just kind of let it go. But like, I'm gonna look back on it six months from now and I'm gonna realize something I maybe could have done differently or to seen it differently. And you know, like that's life. Hey, so um, you got me. I took, I'll take the L on that one. I'll take the L on last night. I'll take the L. That's on me. That's all right. That's all right. But so all the girls watching this, that if you've been like a past relationship of mine or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? I want to first say like, I apologize for not being better. I, I probably could have been a better person to a lot of people. But I'm trying, and I'm going to keep getting better regardless. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to keep doing me. But look, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to see y'all. I'm going to see y'all later. Right. So look, y'all. I'm back. You know what I'm saying? I know I know y'all see these tears. These not tears of god dang uh, sadness. These are tears of, like, joy. Because, like, man, I'm starting to realize, man, like, life is great. Like, life can be good. Like, life is all about how you look at it. And you can be the light and love for other people, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I guess that's really what I'm learning to do is just continuing to be the light and love 
and peace and positivity and joy for everybody else around me, including myself. But um, <laughs> I love y'all, man. Y'all tough, bro. My whole YouTube community. Y'all are tough, bro. I fuck with y'all heavy, bro. Like, y'all don't even understand. I need to, I don't need to express that enough. And I, I, I just need to remember to express that at the beginning of every single video that, like, how much I love, appreciate, and adore all of y'all who just leave a comment, like, subscribe, view it, just even watch it, bro. Like, the fact you want to see my life is insane to me still to this day. So, you know, thank you again. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to come back and see y'all a little bit. I probably will. So I'm not even going to end it right here. I'm going to see y'all in a little bit again. What's good with y'all? Now listen, um, this is the aftermath. Like the, I know I got to, they say it's called an afterglow where it's like the after effects, you know, what I'm saying? my face or something. Smiling extra hard, but um, shrooms. Like, yeah, um, this is a 10 out of 10 experience, bro. Like I laughed. I learned, I cried. You know, I don't even get to cry like that, man. I cried and um, I, re I really got to take the time to like think on situations. I don't know, for all of y'all who seen yesterday's vid, last night's vid, um, it completely changed my perspective on that situation. Like, at first, like most people, my brain wanted to just go to blame the other person, be angry at the other person. But I looked at like, and for all you who don't know, pretty much, Yesterday, last night, I had a prom date. The date was kind of good slash bad because my prom date was kind of a little bitchy. You know what I'm saying? But that was because of outside reasons that I didn't understand at the time because I was so lost in my own emotions, my own ego and how I felt or how she made me feel personally. But see, I realized that people project through life. People are, everybody's going through something. Whether you're from the hood, whether you're from the suburbs like me, whether you're from Chekola Douglas, stand all the way in Africa, everybody goes through something. You hear what I'm saying? Everybody goes through mental battles. You know what I'm saying? Everybody goes through financial. Like, like nobody's, we are human. Nobody's exempt from that, no matter your status in life. You hear what I'm saying? So it helped me realize that we all got to understand each other more, um, love each other more, really understand each other more. And I guess it gave me some mental clarity I was seeking and it really, I feel a lot happier, bro. I feel ready to take on life more. You get what I'm saying? I just feel like a a great fucking guy. <laughs> but anyways, look, man. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, bro. Um, I hope y'all enjoy me being this vulnerable, being as honest with y'all, and just showing y'all that, like, you know. We all can change, man, and like you can. You gonna always change your perspective on anything, bro. Nothing's just set in how you look at it from the get go. There's always more perspective. There's always more points. There's always more to be made. You get me? But anyways, look, man. I'm Alistair Virgo. If y'all enjoyed, you know, just like, subscribe, whatever, share that thing with your family, your friends, whoever you think would enjoy that, John. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, look, bro. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you comment down below, too, your favorite part of the vid. Because, like, I be like, I like reading out comments and stuff, bro. They be warm my heart anytime I see comments. But anyways, look, I'm going to see y'all in the next one.